Let's take a look back at the highlights from what was a very dramatic race. The uh, pole sitter at Telepensesh not getting away well at all. And it was uh, Vladislav Ryabov who took the lead initially uh, into the first corner. And a big challenge came from Bryce Aaron uh, immediately. And uh, he led out of turn two. Simonazzi trying to get around the outside, spent more time off the track uh, in the opening few corners than he did actually on it. But Bryce Aaron took the lead and took full advantage of that as he built a healthy margin while everyone else squabbled for second place. Ryabov was driving the widest Delara 320 you have ever seen to hang on to second place for so long. And Kean Shields, a super move into the first corner, taking two places in one maneuver there, and then straight away through into second place as well with a, uh, a big aggressive move on uh, Ryabov. This was not it as he went wide and uh, Simonazzi took advantage initially. Nolion threw his hat into the ring, but this was the move that Kean Shields uh, made on Ryabov. Only just about kept it on the track and just about ahead of Ryabov there. Simonazzi looked to get involved as well. And once again, getting forced off the circuit as the cars really squabbled for that second place. Ryabov had a bit of a scare as he went up on two wheels, running off the track as uh, Nolion made his way past the rookie driver into the Busse, but late issues for Noleon, costing him uh, a decent result here. He was on the podium with a few laps to go and dropped like a stone. Right. Juju Noda also made her way up the order as well uh, into uh, fourth place and taking the rookie class win. But for the third time this season, Bryce Aaron exited that last corner and took victory in the Euro Formula Open.